Hey lovies, let's get right into this with some cleaning motivation and laundry motivation. So first things first, we're going to strip that bed and get it in the laundry. You know, you're going to see me do all of this in my pajamas. In between, I'm going to take a shower, put my pajamas back on and keep doing laundry. But we're just going to keep moving forward.
my channel, Just Missy. So today I'm going to be doing a power hour clean with me in my mobile home. I am only doing an hour of cleaning today because I'm going to be very honest with you. I've had a really, really rough weekend um, with anxiety and just, just, just yuck. <laughs> um, but as always, as I always say, I'm pushing through and my husband is going to go outside and mow grass. So you, you might hear some noises of him starting up stuff out while we're talking. So I figured while he's taking care of what he's doing, which usually takes him about 45 minutes to an hour, I'll do my power hour clean with me, which you just saw a portion of that, which was to make the bed. So I am taking a pause here in the middle, but don't worry, I stopped the clock um, to talk to you guys for one sec. And um, I'm going to do some things in the house. And then after an hour, I'm done. I asked my husband if we could just go for a drive. Um, I don't care where we go. Just go for a drive, get a drink. I don't care if it's 20 minutes. Just, I need to see something different than my home today. <laughs> I absolutely love my home. I adore my home. Forgive the lawnmower noises. I am so blessed to have my home, but sometimes you just need a change of scenery, a change of perception, breathe fresh air, just just getting outside sometimes and leaving your little space just reminds you of how big the world is and there's so much more than just your little scope of things. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. So that is why I decided to do a power hour as they call it power hour clean with me. So, um, you are going to, so I started the power hour before I even made the bed with laundry <laughs> while well, I was still in my pajamas doing my thing. <laughs> I started laundry. I just got my bedroom done. Um, let me check the time. So I have almost 40 minutes, almost 40 minutes still to go. I see that correctly almost 40 minutes to go so we got 40 minutes so I'm gonna fold laundry I'm gonna try to work in my kitchen a little in my living room and whatever I don't get done I don't get done but at least I know I cleaned for an hour and um, he's getting done what he needs to get done outside and I'm sure he'll come in and take a shower and we'll go for a little drive and maybe I'll even end in a little clip at the end of this of just I'm praying my husband will just like take me for a little drive. I don't care if it's 10 minutes down the road and stops at Dunkin' Donuts and gets me a drink. I feel like, do you ever feel like just getting out and doing something kind of normal will just make you feel like you actually did something? Not that not taking care of your home or making nice meals or anything like that because that's also something I have intentionally to do today. I have a request of meatball subs. And I thought instead of buying, because that's what I usually do, is I usually buy like the frozen meatballs from Aldi's, throw it in a crock pot with some sauce and make meatball subs. I thought, well, you know what? It'd be really nice if I made homemade meatballs. You know, the works with fresh garlic and Parmesan and panko bread comes, the whole thing. And make really nice meatball subs for my family today. Not that there's anything wrong with doing those things, but sometimes just getting away from your home and your space and just doing something very simple with someone that you love can be so refreshing. And I just feel like today that's just really something I need for my mental health. And it ended up being such a beautiful day today. It's actually a blue sky and I think it's gonna get up to 67, which this entire week it has done nothing but rain and be freezing cold. And I really think that that had a part to do with um, why I had such a crappy couple days here but we are overcoming we are persevering and I am trying to be very honest with all of you about my struggle because since I've made that video about being um, being a homemaker with anxiety um, so I can't even keep up with how many people have reached out to me about what they're dealing with what they're going through and that how just having someone on a platform that I have talking openly and honestly about it helps them so being through what I'm going through and doing what I'm going through, if I can help somebody who's going through what I'm going through, oh my gosh. 
absolutely absolutely so you got to do what you feel like you got to do what's best for you in a moment and I'm not going to neglect my home because neglecting my home will just make me feel worse. But that's what power hours are for. You could do a power hour, clean, get as much as you can done in that hour, and then to say, okay, I'm done. And now we can go outside and go get a drink from Dunkin' Donuts, take a little ride, bring it back, and sit on the porch or whatever. And it'll just make you feel better. So I know I'm rambling. I always make my intros long, but I love you guys so much. And I always feel like I have so much to say. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to go because I just wasted five minutes, but not of my hour because I paused it. So we're going to get going. I think I'm going to move and do some laundry now because I did two loads of laundry as you saw in my pajamas. Now it's time to fold some of them. <laughs> so let's go get them folded. Alright guys, we got lots of laundry motivation in this video, so I hope it really inspires you if you got lots of laundry, like myself. There's only four people that live in this house. I don't understand how we have so much laundry, but we do. I hope this inspires you to get some laundry done today.
it is much later in the day. As you can see, my face is bright red. <laughs> I'm being completely honest with you. I started out with a power hour. I had like 27 minutes, I think, left on my power hour, and I did not have a good afternoon. I told you in my intro that I'm having kind of an off day today, and I couldn't finish my power hour. But we did get our grocery haul today, and I know how much you guys like my Aldi's haul. You like to see what Aldi's has and, you know, what my hauls and all that. So um, I did have groceries delivered, so I thought I would end the video with um, a grocery haul instead of the little bit of stuff that I would have done in my kitchen and vacuum my living room. So I hope that you guys don't mind that I didn't finish the whole hour, but by the time I set up all the groceries and put them away and all of that stuff, I probably will have spent that 27 minutes. So I'm just going to say that getting the groceries, bringing them in, unloading them, showing you guys, and then putting it all away is the end of my 27 minute power hour. So like I said at the very beginning of this video, I am trying very hard to be honest about what I'm going through and such. And today was just not a very good day with anxiety and such and um, I'm just pushing through but I really you know when I get into those places it is very hard to clean and just do the things I need to do so and um, makes me very flushed and warm and whatever <laughs> we're not even going to go there so I'm going to show you this haul so this is it for the end of the video. So right here, I'm just going to take the moment and time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I really do hope that you enjoyed what I could do today. Just being open and honest with you guys. I hope you enjoy this Aldi's haul. If you're new here and you like cleaning videos, cooking videos, hauls and DIYs and all that stuff, I encourage you to just... Um, Go ahead and subscribe. It's free. Become a part of the Lovey Tribe. We are honest here. We lift one another up. We take care of each other. And um, I just want to put out there too that whether you live in a mobile home or a mansion, just take care of whatever God has given you. And I know he will bless you with more. So I'm going to go ahead and head out, but show you the Aldi's haul on the way out. Okay. okay. So we got some hard salami for some sandwiches. We have some corn dogs. My daughter and I really like those. Those are actually very, very good. And you can just nuke those or you can cook them in the oven. I got some mozzarella for homemade meatballs, which are not going to happen tonight. I'm going to use those and make those for dinner tomorrow because I'm believing I'm going to have a much better day tomorrow. Um, it's not happening tonight. But um, I got some sharp cheddar for other meals. I got some heavy whipping cream and butter. I'm going to be making um, Zupa Toscana this week as well. Some chicken nuggets for lunch. My daughter and I like those quick and easy lunch. Caesar salad to go with soup. Um, with my meatball subs, I'm going to be making some deviled eggs. We got some fresh grapes. A little seedless watermelon. I love their Asian chopped salad. That's a fantastic little lunch. I got spinach for my Zupa. Um, hamburger buns for sandwiches. There's the sub rolls for the um, meatballs for tomorrow. We love these for dinner. The gravy and Salisbury steaks, we get two of those. These are delicious and another very quick and easy dinner. I always pair that with the Bob Evans um, mashed potatoes because there's always a ton of gravy in those that's another super simple easy dinner served with some green beans um we got some apple juice and some cranberry apple my daughter loves juice here is the sage sausage that i get for my zupa Toscana. here is the ground chuck for my meatballs we got the doggies a chew bone olives to put in with the salads then we needed some of this stuff, so my husband got the Men's Suave, the Olay for my daughter, and Head and Shoulders. Um, there's the sauce for my meatballs. We got chicken stock for my um, Zupa Ranch and Sweet Baby Ray's. We like to use both of those when we eat chicken nuggets. We got some of these to try. Breadcrumbs for my meatballs. We love these things. Great lunch fillers, some chicken noodle soup, water, our paper plates for the week. We got some of these garlic spread. 
here. And then to go on those, um, we've got the New York style bagel crisps. And then I wanted to show you these. We got these last week, the Caribbean frozen fruit bars made with real strawberries, pineapple, coconut, passion fruit, and mango. Guys, these things are the most delicious things I've ever had. And look, when they say that there is real chunks of like pineapple and coconut and strawberries, there is, sometimes you bite into these and you get a piece of pineapple like that big. If you like tropical things, these are the best popsicles I have ever had. And I am not lying. Like, I'm not over-exaggerating. My daughter and I are fighting over these. <laughs> you only get four in a box. But man, they are so good. I highly, highly recommend those. So that is our grocery haul for this week. And like I said earlier, guys, I thank you so, so, so much for joining me today. I wish you all well. Please take care of yourselves. Know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. And if you're going through something, a struggle, anxiety, depression, anything of that nature, pain, please know that you're not alone and we can get through this together. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.